In this video, I'll walk through how to try out the new Nari Labs DIA text-to-speech model. You can learn more about DIA on their GitHub page. I'll be using Podman to try this out. In this example, I'm using an NVIDIA GPU, and I've already installed the NVIDIA driver and the NVIDIA container toolkit so that Podman containers can access the GPU. I have a Git repository with a container file, so I'll start by cloning this repository. Let's take a look at this container file. As you can see, this is based on the CentOS Stream 9 container image, it enables the EPL and RPM Fusion free repositories, installs Git, FFmpeg, and some Python packages. It then clones the DIA GitHub repository and uses pip to install the needed Python packages. Then the model files are downloaded into the container. And finally, since we'll be running in a container, I set the Gradio server name variable to 0.0.0.0, .0 to enable communication outside the container. Next, I'll build this container with a podman build command and tag it with a DIA speech name. I've already run this previously, so it'll use the cached layers. Next, I'll run the container with podman run. You can then open a web browser and browse to localhost on port 7860 to access the Gradio web interface. Here you can specify the input text and use the S1 and S2 to label the two speakers. I'll use the granite model to generate a short example based on some text from the Fermi Paradox Wikipedia page. I'll copy and paste that text in and then generate the audio. You can see that there are also a number of generation parameters that you can change. This will take about 40 seconds to generate, and then once it's done, we'll play it and see what it sounds like. Welcome back to our podcast, everyone. Today, we're diving into the Fermi Paradox. That's right. It's the discrepancy between the lack of conclusive evidence of advanced extraterrestrial life and the high likelihood of its existence. Exactly. It's quite the conundrum. Those affirming the paradox generally conclude that extraterrestrial life should be common, given the permissive conditions for life to arise from non-living matter. <clears throat> Indeed, but there have been many attempts to resolve this paradox. Some suggest that intelligent extraterrestrial beings are extremely... Well, thanks for watching and have a great day.